welcome to my channel statements by rainbow in today's video i'm going to be talking about suicide so please like comment subscribe and share definitely so things happen why who knows um, but people do commit suicide like this is so so real and a lot of people don't talk about it you know they have their reasons people don't like to talk about death and then i guess definitely is looked down upon that people take their own lives so people don't talk about it and i think it's something that as families we need to talk about you know because you don't know what nobody is going through you know and we all we all all we all face problems if they children teens adults the elderly everyone is going through something or goes through something in some point in their lives so one of the definitely the things that we have to be careful what we say to people you know um you don't know how they're they going. You know, a person might have just lost their job. Um, and you're driving. And they run you off the road. Or something. Or they cut you off. And, you know, you go cussing and fussing at them. They might didn't even realize that that's what they did. Because they might be thinking about what they got going on in their life. You know, um. And it might be a simple thing of, you know, you bump somebody because they looked at you funny. You might have reminded them of somebody that passed away in their life and they might have been already been thinking about it. You know, they might have just lost somebody and they staring at you and you bump them because you feel like, why is they staring at me? And they go home and commit suicide. So you have to be careful of what you say and what you do and how you treat people because you never know what's going on in somebody's life and you never want that on your conscience that, you know, this person took their life because of one little thing that I did to push them over the edge. You know, so please be mindful of those things. Um... One of the some of the things that people may think of suicide, like I said, they might have had deaths in their family. They might have lost their job. Um, they might have lost their kids, you know, through a custody battle or something like that. Might be in a divorce or something of that nature. Um, you know, they just had a bad day, you know. Uh different things that could have been going on with them back to back back to back that led them to believe that there's no point of being here some people might feel like they're not love you know nobody cares about me so why am I here you know different things happen that make people think about suicide and to you, it might not seem like it's valid, or you might not know that it's going on, or you might not know the person, or whatever the case may be, but everybody's different, everybody handles things differently, so, you know, maybe you are a person that you talk about what's going on, maybe you find a hobby to get involved in, to keep your mind going. Maybe this person does not have that or doesn't have any support or doesn't feel like they have any support and decide, why? What's, what's the point of being here? So, you just don't know. Um, a lot of the ways that normally that happens, you know, people hang themselves, you know, rather... From the ceiling fan, shower, or different things of that nature. 
than some people. They poison themselves. They you know, house common household products or stuff that you know that's for a pet or different stuff like that that has disclaimers on it that it can be harmful harmful to humans or it into mm, ingesting too much can be harmful to you. You know, certain things. Some people decide to shoot themselves. Some people may stab themselves or cut themselves and bleed out to death. Some people decide they're going to suffocate themselves. Um, also, some people decide they're going to jump, you know, from off a high building or something. Or they decide they're going to throw themselves in front of a bus or in front of a train or in front of a car or something of that nature, you know, because they're ready to go. Some people overdose on drugs rather legal drugs or drugs that we get from the doctor you know and a lot of the times you may be taking these particular drugs and of course you have the recommended amount and you decide I'm gonna take more you know uh, Instead of taking one or two, like my doctor prescribed, I'm going to take 10. Hopefully, hopefully, this ends what I'm going through. Um, or, you know, doing, like I said, illegal drugs. Maybe they're drug addicts and they've been taking drugs and they take more than the amount that they normally take. Also, some people decide to drown themselves rather pool, bathtub, beach, or whatever like that. Also, a lot of people, we, they don't, I don't think, they think about the effects that it has on others. At that time, they're going through what they're going through. So, they done blanked out. You know, they, they, they done checked out. They, they're not thinking about anyone. They're thinking about what they're going through. And they don't want to deal with it. But they don't realize how many of people they affect. You know, rather, whoever decide, end up finding them, which, whether it could be a family member, anybody who finds them, you know, that's going to affect anyone. Whether you knew them or you didn't know the person finding someone deceased especially finding out that they took it upon themselves to take their own life that will get anybody anybody that that's something they won't forget you know something they are gonna have to deal with for the rest of their life that they found this person then you know the emergency people that come, the police, you know, Ammonaps, all these different people, um, people who probably come, depending on the time frame, who may try to see if they can revive this person. That, you know, even though that's their job, don't nobody want to see nobody die. Unless a killer, you know, but... To see someone take their own life, that that's an impact. Also, you know, family. You're a family, you know, rather your parents. That's the one thing, of course, the saying goes, the parent is supposed to be buried by the child, not the child, you know, being buried by the parent. So that definitely does something. Um, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces, that does something to them. Um, and it's definitely a known fact that a lot of the times the suicide rate far as someone who's dealing with suicide, a lot of times they just said someone sometimes end up committing suicide as well due to the fact they couldn't deal with that friend or family member who committed suicide it was too much for them. So, it's a major impact. Not only that, classmates, co-workers, 
your neighbors, you know, people who's been teachers, stuff like that, people who's been around you. But it also, it affects strangers, you know. You sit here and you could be talking to someone who doesn't even know the person and you tell them the story. And that's, it's going to affect them, you know. So that's something to think about as well, you know, um, getting help getting help if you are thinking about committing suicide or you know someone that has thought about doing it please get help or get help for them you know because you don't want them to go down that road it's too much in this world that we have to live for regardless of where we're at in our lives you know young old middle age whatever there's always something better than committing suicide and if you're a believer you know number one sin is committing suicide you don't want to do it you know if you're dealing with someone who's thinking about it or you hear them say something be sensitive to what they're dealing with you know can't be aggressive. You have to be sensitive to what they have going on, regardless of what you think or how you feel about it. Or even if you don't like the person, you have to be sensitive to them at this time to deal with the situation. Ask questions. You know, how do you feel about what's going on? What makes you want to do this? Like, have you made a plan? Different stuff like that. Ask plenty direct questions not little questions going around the bush you got to be direct because this is something serious and every little answer is important at this moment if they about to do it or you, you know you just know 911 911 you know because as people we're not equipped to handle certain things when it comes to people, we weren't trained to deal with certain situations. We might just go based on what we think. We would want to hear if we was going through that situation or something we've seen on TV. Call 911. It's important. And don't leave them alone. Do not leave them alone. Stay with them. Let them know that you're here and you're going to be here with them throughout the process. Let them know they're not alone. Make sure therapy. It's okay to go to a therapist. We all, all need a therapist. You know, a psychologist. Make sure they go. Call CPS. Call a hotline. Um, make sure you realize that their life it's important and allow them to realize that their life is important as well. Sometimes there are warning signs, red flags that was ahead of to get into this point. You know, they might have been arranging, you know, their affairs or something like that. Um, you know, making a will or you know, uh, said, I'm leaving the job. Saying, they might be saying goodbyes to people and stuff like that. Or, you know, telling people, oh, no, I can't help you. No, I'm not going to be able to help you do this and that. They may start staying distant. You know, some people may be talking of it. So, if you hear them say something, you know. There's, like I said, there's not always a red flag. Anyway, I do hope that this video helps someone. Um, I didn't want to go too much in detail, but I just wanted to put it out there so other people could start talking about it. Talk about it, like I said, talk about it with your friends. Talk about it with your family. Talk about it with coworkers. Talk about it with your children as well because, like I said, we are all going through something. You don't know what's on anybody's anybody's mind at no moment after time. 
you know, they could have been hee hee and ha ha earlier. And some, they could have went outside and got a phone call or something that triggered them that things have changed for them. So it's something to talk about. Not just, oh, I read about this situation. Then you talk about it then. No. It's something to talk about. Updates. There's not a one-time type of conversation. Like I said, things go on in life every day, all day long. We're dealing with something from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep. Whether it's good, okay, bad, the worst day ever, you know, you don't know. So please have these conversations with people. You know, you might be saving a life. You might be saving your own life, you know. So I hope that y'all like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. You know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And y'all have a good one. And I'll be coming back again real soon.